cold drinks, that's the motherfucking recipe. Cześć, witaj, Sesson Max, witam was w dziesiątym odcinku z The Book of Hungry Ten Tales. Pamiętacie, już rozszyfrowaliśmy te rzeczy w zatopionej świątyni, żeby dojść tutaj. I poszliśmy Wilborem. Bo on jedynie mógł iść, tak naprawdę. Był, próbowałem wcześniej robić tym już. Yy, Zapytano na przykład Nate'em. I też się nie udało. Sort of board. It's broken. Now you're pretty heavy, and it's stuck between those stones. Teraz ja w szkole jestem, na na czy nie w szkole tylko w przedszkolu mam praktyki cały tydzień. I jest taki chłopak, który się nazywa Ivo. Sześcioletni. Ivo, się śmiałem, że Ivo, o kurde. <śmiech> Ale to fajnie wygląda. A jak oglądałem sobie ten materiał, to tu widać tylko twarz Wilbora i trochę kapitana Nate'a. It's not easy to open. <śmiech> Ooh, some nice round stones. Weź kilka. Ugh, it feels like rotten food. Offerings, maybe. What is that? A tin. It says sardines in oil. Sardinki vole. Lol. Ooh, it's slimy, moldy, slippery, sticky, hard. A oh. stone disc. Slimy, moldy, slippery, sticky. Nope. Slimy. I think was maybe I could touch both crystals by myself once they're in the sockets. Hmm. Maybe if I stretch. I think we're supposed to put the crystals back in here. Maybe I could touch both crystals, but. Does the treasure chamber with the artifact lie beyond this door, or are there just more doors and more gates and doors? I think I should just wait for the others first before I find out what's through there. Wow. The stonemasons weren't a patch on the dwarves, but the statue is impressive. Popróbuję co z każdą rzeczą można zrobić, nie? Włóż mu gęsną różkę do otworu. A i chyba się wtedy uda. Wilbur Weathervane, Master Thief. Kurde. Nie wiesz, że nigdy nic nie ukradniesz. I thought so. Everything in the temple is built by good old gnome technology. Nothing is working here. My sister would definitely know why. Nothing is. There's a stone disc in there. Oh, another stone disc. Some kind of rounded metal cylinder with stone caps, pretty solidly built. Film, eh? To a stone disc, quad. A perfect fit. That's it. Stacked like that, the four discs are now the same height as the shaft in the middle. 
Надо перепомню. Those aren't gnome symbols. They're like all the others around here. What could they mean? Tam jsem tady kašel kola. Powinno się zapalić zielone światełko, jak dobrze jest. Gwiazdy tu nie ma chyba, jak widzę. Dobra, odejdziemy od tego, bo nie ma, nie wiem co robić. Hm. A cóż szuflady zamknij, szuflady, cóż szuflady zamknij, szuflady. Te sardynki wchodzą. Who knows what disasters might occur if I were to press that button? It's clicking. Or nothing at all. Who knows what is? Or nothing is working. Yeah, my sister would. Na razie tam mamy coś zrobić. Gnomtyk. No ale to musi być jakoś. O! What the hell?
Jest! Wszystko na zielono? Udało się. Wow. Co to tworzyło? A chyba nam przejście tam. Tak. Ta Wilbur od razu tam. Udało się. Jakie skupienie miałem. Hej, the coast is clear. You can come in now. What? No one home. No one home. I vote. Nate? Nate? Hmm. Nothing. I'll go get them. No problem. I'm back. I told you I. Hello. I need the crystals to open that door over there. I won't be able to do it alone, no? No. A, bo teraz możemy już brać te kryształy, skoro drzwi się nam otworzyły. Wędka. Hej, are you listening? Mankus? Ten zielony motherfucker. We will have some fun with them, but not here, not now. Wilbur doesn't run into them. Shorty's clever. He'll think of something. I hope. Not much longer, and it'll be yours, Mancus. No one will be able to stop you. Not even Mother. And you won't either, you pathetic little thing! You hear? I know you're hiding here somewhere. Johnny. Maybe this is a touch more adventure than I bargained for. Czekajcie, malutkie cięcie. Już do was wracam. Okay, it's kind of like a puzzle. Yeah, I understand. We have to bring a sacrifice. You read in us. Slap. And open. <laughs> I command you. Open up. Please. <laughs> I'll destroy you. If I were to lure the sorcerer in here. If I would... Ugh, there were dead fish in that oil. Huh? I'm certain the builders had a good reason for installing it. Well, reasonably certain. I'm certain the... I improved the machine. Potem wszystko. To włoży tego i muchę trzeba jebnie. And away it goes. Wow, that makes sense. Dobra, weźmiemy sobie. I'll destroy you. 
You and your whole family. What the? The fuck? The fuck? Heh. Zin strzelić my go. Zamknij się. Yeah. I wedged the door shut. I don't think you'll get out of there in a hurry. I wedged the... No, pokonaliśmy szybkiego. I'm not sure I used that fishing rod properly. Although I caught a fish, I was still didn't look all that satisfied. That's the only exit from the temple. And do the parkour bit. Small hands, fat little belly, not ideal for this, I'd say. Ha! Gdyby był. Ha! That wasn't so hard after all. Oh, really? oh no! I've read about trolls. They're not nice. All right, Wilbur. What have you read about trolls? They're big and ugly, and they're not very nice. They they drink blood at full moon, and when you say their name, they melt into sea foam because they can't stand sunlight. No, wait, no, wait. Something's not right there. As long as he's standing there, he'll see me if I leave. Why do experienced adventurers like those two let themselves get captured by the bad guys? <laughs> That's what happens when you work with unqualified staff. <laughs> Why do experienced... <laughs> that... That's a long way down. Ivor was out of breath when she pulled the fishing line back up. That's a long... Why do experienced adventurers like <laughs> that? I can't reach the base of the column without being seen. I can't. Let's just some stuff in. Teraz sąsiedzi musieli górę usiąść mi pod oknem i gadać, nie? Wyjdę. Mamko sobie coś tam położył w ofierze. The sorcerer put something in here. A mirror. A mirror. O, really? Maybe that wasn't such a great idea. Are you? The troll. I'm not so much putting a toe out there as long as that. I better not make him any angrier. The next time I blind him with the mirror, it be I better not make the troll. I'm not so much putting a toe out there as long as that troll stand. The troll would see me. Oh, really?
Why do you experience the bench? <laughs> yeah. yeah. As long as he's that's a long way down. I, I can't reach the club unnoticed. The troll would see me. I'd better not make him a the troll would see. Taki magik, to może coś kurde ruszko zrób. I hops co? Tam ten jak cicho tam siedzi kłonny. Nie no tu już nic nie ma. I wedged the door shut. I don't think there's anything left down there that I don't think there's anything left down I better not make Maybe the two of them can somehow distract the troll. Hey, you troll, you! I'm not so much putting a toe up. You're as unintelligent as a, well, a troll. What are you doing? You're stupid even for a troll. Stop! You shouldn't. If your club has... Quick, free us, and then we're out of here. We still have to find No treasure is worth that. Don't you know who that fat little guy is and who his mother is? And she won't like that we're messing up her plans. Get the ship ready for departure. Wilbur and I'll get the treasure and we'll be back. I will get the ship ready, and as soon as it's ready, I will depart, with or without you two. But but Captain Nate! You know as well as I do that you can't just simply creep under the nearest stone and hide. You've helped us. We're in the same boat. I'm done for. Only the Archmage can protect you, and he wants the treasure, so wait here. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. Dzięki Bogu Słońce, gdy ze mnie zrobił. Almost a little eerie. Trochę dźwięk jak ze Star Wars w kurde. Let's do it. Let's carry on and get us some treasure. What kind of monster do you think the statue represents? I hardly think that's relevant. No, ja myślę, że powinno być w kurde. Maybe four? Four! Ah! Ah! Ivo! Hmm? It's dark. I'm not really yeah, it's... good with the dark. Then you should sort out some light. I can't help at the moment. Mm. Whoa, uh, a dried up corpse. Its skin is like paper and it, it's a box. It's a fork. Got it. box is full of little packages and the packages are full of dried square things feels like cubes of dried grass the fuck? it smells a bit like it did in sea stone like sea ocean it's so familiar hmm. I know what they are dried jelly glowfish jelly glowfish are always shipped dried in small boxes 
Did you just lick the jelly glowfish? Uh, no. Then how do you know what jelly glowfish taste like? That's my business. I need a container for the jelly glowfish, otherwise they'll get away. Something cold, made of metal, I think. Oh. Like a spear with round protrusions. Some part of this thing are made of glass, it seems. It's quite heavy, but it's hollow. There's an opening on one side, so it's a kind of container. I should put some liquid in the container first. I filled the container with that stinky liquid. I'll put the container down here and put a jelly glowfish in it. Wow. Uh, Ivo. Yeah. I don't think that was a passage. You don't say. <laughs> Good work. Uh, I think we should get out of here. Fast. Not without us getting what we came for. Oh, a treasure. You mean... Absolutely. The artifact of divine fate. It isn't just being guarded by the monster. It's in the monster. Let's get it. I don't want to use it. Maybe I could use the barrel as a boat. But I'd still need a paddle. I can hardly row with... Hmm. I know what these are. They let you breathe underwater. Grandad used to use these while fastening bombs to the bottom of orc ships. Unfortunately, the fuses kept going out. <sighs> A lovely suitcase filled with all sorts of expensive clothes. Lace, silk, long johns. Only the best. These clothes don't fit me. Too bad, really. Because sometimes it gets a touch breezy under my mage robes. <laughs> oh, really? That's some sort of corrosive acid. No idea how deep the lake is, and I don't want to know either. Too deep for wading at any rate. Humans are renowned for their absurd clothing, but this is simply ridiculous. I can't see anything that would help us. A suitcase with human clothes. Too fine to be an adventurer's. Perhaps a merchant ship ran aground on the rocks out there and it belonged to one of the passengers. Um. I would never ever wear anything like this. Really? We elves capture moonlight in crystal files and use that for lighting. However, here a jelly glowfish will have to suffice. Not a will bro. Great! Now it's my turn! Uh, let's try and think of something else for you. A wooden board. It's about a meter long and one end runs to a point. I've seen something like that once before. It's a kind of musical instrument. The wild men of the mountains use something like that. Doesn't work. That's something know me. That means that it's dangerous and highly unlikely that it'll have any useful purpose at all. Oh. Not touching any. Stomach acid. A whole load of it. It can dissolve a human being in minutes. Oh, and by the smell of it, that's already happened a few times. Oh. The smell coming out of that hole is abominable. It appears to be some sort of drain. Um. The chest seems to be blocking this hole in the wall. Perhaps it's being sucked in tight. Mm. I can't get it out. It's... <laughs> Here, take it. 
Oh, thank you. Wat mooi. Dank je, Lask. Er is geen meer ruimte voor Ivo in de barrel. Maar ik moet de andere kant kunnen bereiken met droge voeten. Poem. Yeehoo! My dad gave my mum one of those. You put a slate on this round plate and then carefully lower the needle onto the slate. And then you hear the sound of a needle scratching across the slate. Terrible noise, which is then amplified using that pipe there. That thing is too unwieldy for me. I'll only take the scratch loud enough. Looks like a giant horn. Maybe the... Do -do. No, that's too high up for me. Yeah, that stinks. Like, like, you know, something really bad. I'm not climbing into a hole. Somebody else can do that. No, it's okay, Will. But you do it. But um, well, don't elves have a better sense of direction? You're much smaller than me, so you can squeeze your way through a narrow passage. But I. Get on with it. You want to be a hero, don't you? I would have leapt at the chance if someone had asked me. Ah. Uh, all right. What's up? A borrow lid. Oh, a music puzzle. Trochę kurde. Co tego pytania? Apparition in the mirror. Krawało Mary. I need help. This will help you. Fuck. A small <laughs> rope in good condition. Time to head back. But how? Oh, eh, I get it. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> and how was it? Ah, uh, the usual. That wouldn't help. Ivo and I still wouldn't be able to get to the other side together. I can't reach. This is a mouth. Dobra. Płyniemy do ciebie, Ivo. Obsesa. There you are. Thanks. Look what I found, Ivo. Oh, I've got an idea. Crawl into the barrel with me. Uh, okay. Okay. Are you sure this is safe? Oh! I need to pay me credit. As there are some us. Never again. Never, 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 never. At least we're both on this side now. I'll tie the rope to the handle. Da? Let's try. Okay. Okie doke. Yoo-hoo! A 
appears that we've done our big friend a big favor with this. A beautifully worked chest. The chest won't be that easy to unlock. We'll need to break it open. Perhaps we could freeze it and... <laughs> it doesn't always have to be so complicated. <laughs> I can't get it open. <laughs> Looks like a complicated lock. I suggest that we ask Captain Bonnet. Perhaps he can deal with it. I'm sure he can. But first we have to get out of here. Hmm. There's something else in the box. This thing will make your voice much louder. Shame, because most mortal beings speak unbearably loud as it is. Even without one of these things. They will be a bit of Will be? This for you. Here, take it. Thanks. The other side of the wall. All the spark. What's that? Oh, God. Do -do! Maybe I can communicate with the monster. That's never gonna work. We're surrounded by tons of flesh and blubber. Yes, but the sound of the horn is amplified, then reamplified until it's about mm, a thousand times as loud in the end. Physical humbug. <laughs> Did you hear that? It can talk. Hello? Who's there? Yeah, book. Two so many. I'm pure and conscious. That can't be right. I'm a monster without a conscience. Then, hmm, maybe I'm your stomach. My stomach can sleep? What do you want? I... I want more to eat! Lots more to eat! That makes two of us! But since they stopped sacrificing fish people, we've been done with the food. You could leave here and trample whole cities to death! Wilbur! But he's hungry. I can't get out of here. I've been trapped in this cave for thousands of years. Why don't you know that? You were here the whole time, rumbling. Who are you, Will? Какая тема это интересно, прошу. Истем? We're two adventurers trapped in your stomach. Really? I'm sorry. <laughs> Would you let us out? No, I don't get my hands on food very often. But there's no meat on that at all. I was as thin as a toothpick, and I weigh less than a sheep. Better than nothing. Come on, we tried that chest from that gap in your stomach. Which chest? The chest that was plugging up the hole. It looked painful. I don't know what you did, but I'm feeling better than I have in a hundred years. Thank you. So will you let us go? All right then. But perhaps you could be all a few ships here. Or a whale or two. Um, we'll see. Goodbye. I thought that monster was really nice. Perhaps we really could send a ship or two. You are sometimes so strange. But if we... <gasps> what the... Surprise, my pretty one! Listen. But... But... Cap Nate! Have you been working with them all this time? Oh no, my dear. It's just that I happen to know which buttons to press with people like our human friend. What did he promise you? Our lives. Mine in particular. And the treasure. All of it, except for one item which he wants to select. <laughs> I can imagine. Wilbur, don't hand over the artifact of divine fate. Understood? Understood. The... 
the artifact of divine fate. Unlimited power. Go away. I'm... I'm a mighty battle mage. <laughs> sure you are. Nate, you can't allow this to happen. He'll focus on his own affairs. That's what you should have done, too. Uh-uh. You... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Take the other safety! Then I should have been allowed to. Oh, what the good out of it! Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next Could you do that? I've saved your necks. Well, yours at least. You freed the sorcerer, all because you wanted treasure. Do you seriously believe I thought for one second that Monkus would give us a treasure hoard? I made a deal with Monkus because it was the one small chance we had of getting out of there in one piece. Don't you get it? They would have pursued us and made our lives hell. And sooner or later we'd have fallen into their hands. No treasures were that. Do you think anyone anywhere will have a quiet life if that falls into Motroga's hands? I really didn't know. Hey! Hey, little guy, where are you going? Fine, just go. And ah! next time, just tell me what it's up. Wilbur! He's waking up. Ah! Nice and calm now. Somehow the expressions safe and zombies in the same sentence don't really make much sense. <laughs> Apart from, the zombies will drag us from the safety of our houses and rip us to shreds. You see, he hates us. He's afraid of us. And that's why he hates us. Our committee the will will have have work to do. won't hurt you. We are the committee for the humane treatment of the undead. We're trying to improve the bad reputation that the undead have amongst the living. And amongst the dead. Because no one seems to like us. Wh where is Wilbur? The, there, there was a trap and a shadow. That was me. I knocked you down. You banged your head on a rock. Please forgive me. I don't really have this body under control. Why did you knock me over? What's happened to Wilbur? He probably saved your neck. Yeah. The chief orc from the camp set that trap. If it caught you both, then it wouldn't only be your little friend who's in trouble. Wilbur's in an orc camp? Oh, man, and it's my fault? Uh, how do you mean? Oh, uh, well... Tell us, boy. As you can see, we've been blaming ourselves for this mess. All right. My name is Nate. I was in Seastone by the Western Ocean. Then along comes this little gnome and... And wham, everything goes black. Then I wake up and there you are. You... you deceived him? You were only interested in shaving your own neck. Well, it's not exactly like that. Shades of grey. You should be wearing this pillory. I've lived with pirates, cutthroats, but never, never. Now just hold it right there. Maybe I did behave just a tiny little bit narcissistically. You sold your friends down the river because you hoped it would help you get out of the whole thing in one piece? No. You have to get Wilbur out of there. And you have to free the elf. <sighs> I know. I know. You're right. And I have to get the artifact to safety too. I will help you if you meant that seriously. My name is Gulliver. You can find me up in my workshop. Come on, body. Dobra, ale my sobie skończymy w tym momencie odcinek. Mam włączony mikrofon. My sobie skończymy w tym momencie odcinek. To było na tyle. Myślę, że Wam się spodobał. Zapraszam Was do innych serii. Mówił dla Was Max. I cześć!